Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is a beer I've been wanting to try. Not, like, super bad, but uh, a beer I've always wanted to try because we can't get it in New York. New Glarus Brewing Company Spotted Cow. It's a cream ale, as you can probably tell by looking at it. Nice uh, lemony color. I mean, it probably looks like a lager on camera, but... Yeah, it's like just pure yellow, kind of like lemon skin. Had about a two finger, you know, nice, very bright white, like frothy head. Uh, my friend Jordan, who's doing like a road trip, like pretty much all over the country. She started in Indiana, then I think she went up to Wisconsin, then through Canada and back to Michigan and New York and all. I don't know. Anyway, she gave me a bunch of Three Floyds and New Glarus. So thanks, Jordan, for the beer. So that's so nice. Uh, you know, I was just looking on Rape Beer. I thought this was like supposed to be like an awesome beer because I've always heard about it. I've heard about it for like five years. It only scores a 47 overall, and like, but it did. It's an 87 on style. So, I mean, not a huge cream ale fan, but you know, if you find a good one, they're they're nice. So, anyways, let's give this a smell test here. Mm, yeah, it's like I said, it looks lemon. It has a little bit of lemon lemon zest uh, to the aroma. It's like a nice kind of clean kind of summery smell to it. Um, I mean, the nose is, is quite mild overall. Um, it doesn't have any kind of, you know, like a lager quality to it. Like cre a lot of corn tend to be made with uh, corn. So like they kind of smell like a Coors Light or something like that. But uh, let's give this one a try. Cheers. Mm. Ah, there it is. Up front, I did get like the kind of. I mean, it's almost kind of like a Kolsch. Blonde ale, something like that, in the very light ale kind of territory. Um, like, kind of light lemony flavor, um, a light barley kind of flavor, like kind of, kind of grainy. Um, I had the description right here. Brewed with flake barley and the finest Wisconsin malts, we even give a nod to our farmers with a little hint of corn. Okay, the corn is in there. Naturally cloudy, we allow the yeast to remain in the bottle to enhance fullness of flavors, which cannot be duplicated otherwise. Expect the sale to be fun, fruity, and satisfying. I'd love to know what hops and malts they use. Maybe I can look that up. I did Google it, but I didn't go to their website. Let's see if it's on here. No, it just says food pairings and cheeses and stuff. Anyways, back to the beer. Um, yeah, I did get the the kind of cream ale quality, the lager kind of quality on the finish there. You get that kind of corn taste, like hint of like metallic, you know, kind of reminiscent of like an adjunct lager. Mm, but much, much, much cleaner. The hops are, the hops are pretty mild on this one. It's not meant to be a, you know, hop crazy American type beer. Like just hop the hell out of it. Um, it's just more of like a solid, like exactly to spec. I assume cream ale. Um, I'd have to look up the BJCP specs to see how this hits the notes or lack thereof. But I'm pretty sure it's it's banging on all cylinders. I'm not a huge cream ale fan, but when they're done right, like this one, you know, it can be nice. I mean, it's a nice alternative to lager. It doesn't have that like kind of dirty flavor. Like he, this is like a beer like this is where you can say, hey, look, you can use corn to brew beer with, and you can, and it'll be done right. And like this is a good example of that. Yeah, it has like a little bit of like a general kind of cereal cereal flavor to it. Like like I said before, kind of like a lemony thing. And it's not there's like hardly any bitterness on here at all. It's probably I bet you the IBUs is like less than twenty, maybe like fifteen, ten, something like that. Um, it doesn't have an, I like the the texture on this one. Let me give us another sip, and uh, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. 
Hey craft beer drinkers, have we got a book for you. The Handbook of Porters and Stouts. This book documents the greatest examples of dark beer available on the market today. From old world traditional brews to American craft breweries pushing the boundaries of what dark beer can be. You'll learn about the origins of the styles as well as the brewers behind the beer. Available in bookstores November 11th or pre-order from Amazon at a discounted rate today. Come to the dark side with the Handbook of Porters and Stouts by Josh Christie and Chad Polenz. All right, I'm back finishing up the new Blair Spotted Cow Cream Ale. Definitely one of the better cream ales I've had. It's much, much better than Jenny Cream Ale. <laughs> if you live in New York, you should probably get that reference. Anyways, let's rate this on rate beer. Um, aroma, I'll give it a 7, you know, out of lemony. Nice, not, you know, pretty mild overall, nothing off about it. Appearance, um, you know, pretty... Pretty decent lacing, head stick in there. It's not fantastic appearance, but it's pretty good. I'll give it a four. Taste, um, hmm. I'll give it a seven on taste. Seven out of ten. I mean, I like the flavor it's there, but it's not like anything that's like absolutely super delicious. It's it's just nice. Palette, you know what? This is only five point one ABV, which is nice. I mean. Very, you know, on the brink of being sessionable. I mean, for a lot of people, this would be totally sessionable, uh, especially in the summer, like, you know, drinking it in October on a Sunday night, waiting for The Walking Dead to start. Um, you know, one is fine. I don't want to drink an entire six-pack or something, but, yeah, one's good. I'll give it, um, it, it going back to the mouthfeel and all that stuff, like it's not it, it has like that ale kind of mouthfeel it's kind of more soft um lightly carbonated it's not spastic and um like it, it hasn't it's not crisp and and you know, like i said spastic like like a lager uh nice smooth like creamy texture um you know i actually I give this be very generous and i'll give this a five out of five on palette overall overall I'll give it a I mean, a 15 out of 20, you know, to me that's about, you know, average or, you know, maybe slightly above. That's a, uh, 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 no, I'm bourbon. Uh, that's a total of a 3.8, which is an 8 out of 10 on my scale. I would agree with that. I mean, it's like a little generous and I'm kind of grading on a scale because of the style, but, you know, definitely one of the better cream ales I've had. Not the best. I had the, the Peak Scale Brewing Cream Ale when I was with the I'm So Fats a couple weeks ago. That, that was a fantastic cream ale. Anyways. 8 out of 10 for New Glare Spotted Cow. Thanks to Jordan for this bottle. And there's one more of a different, you know, offering by this by this brewery in the fridge. Thanks to you guys out there for watching. And remember to check out my book. Link is in the description. Cheers.